Hey guys, it's Luke from Sundance Custom Golf Cars in San Diego, California. Today I want to go over battery maintenance with you. Just give you a few pointers on what to do and what not to do with battery maintenance. The first thing that you want to make sure that you do before you maintenance your batteries is you want to make sure they're fully charged. If you don't have them fully charged before you maintenance your batteries, you will end up overflowing your battery. You'll get battery acid on the ground, battery acid all over the cart, it's just a bad situation to be in. Now this is for if you haven't serviced your batteries in, in a while. If you forgot to, you want to check to make sure that there's enough water in the batteries to at least submerge the lead, lead plates inside the battery. You don't want to charge the battery with the lead plates exposed. So what you want to do is just go ahead and check, look down inside there, make sure that there's enough water covering the plate. If there's not, only put enough water to cover that plate. You want, you're going to have to be able to look down in there, get a flashlight, and actually visually see the water inside the battery. Once you uh, confirm that the water is covering the plates, go ahead and close everything up and charge it completely overnight. Safety glasses, for one. Rubber gloves to protect your skin. You'll need some kind of funnel. Also, you're going to need some distilled water. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and pop open each of the caps on your battery. Some batteries will have a plus model like this where it's got individual caps and others will be a master vent. Whenever you open them up, open it away from you. That way you don't have any splash come up towards you. There is a fill line on each battery that is approximately about an inch and a quarter down from the top. So when you're filling batteries, you don't want to fill all the way to the top. You want to fill about an inch and a quarter from the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put, grab a long neck funnel, put it down inside your battery there and kind of fill up and to keep an eye on the water level as it comes up. When you get to that fill line, which again is about an inch and a quarter down, stop. Go through and fill each individual cell up uh, until it's full um, on all the batteries. Once you're done, go and shut the tops. Now, also with battery maintenance is you want to make sure that the, there's no corrosion hanging on, the, on any of the terminals. Now, Corrosion is, you only get corrosion on the battery if you get battery outside, acid outside the battery. If you don't get any acid outside the battery, then you don't get corrosion. So if you do have a little bit of corrosion, what you want to do is you want to take a little bit of baking soda and water and a good a stiff bristled brush, mix it up, and go ahead and scrub the terminal down with the baking soda and water. What that's going to do is it's going to neutralize the acid, it's going to help clean it off, and then you just take a paper towel, one of these like heavy shop towels, Clean, clean off the, the rest, make sure all the battery is dry. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to get the baking soda water mixture inside the battery. That's going to ruin your battery. <laughs> okay guys, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always send us an email. Uh, you can go to SundanceGolfCars.com and just go ahead and drop us a line. Anyway, you guys have a great day. See you next time. <laughs>